celebrated film director and writer Sham Benegal is a man who has wrestled with complex historical and social issues with the deafties. He wanted to explore the personality and the psyche of the man who almost single-handedly shaped the document that today dictates each citizen's life in India. Dr. Bhim Rav Ramji Ambedkar or Baba Sahib Ambedkar as he is popularly called now was a towering personality who steered the constituent assembly that wrote the central law book of India and left a huge footprint on India as a nation. When a group of interpret reformers began fighting the British colonizers and trying to wrest India free from a coercive foreign rule of more than 100 years, there was one man who did something even more revolutionary. If trying to eject the British was a courageous task that only a brave heart could undertake, fighting the caste system was akin to finding a pervasive ghost. Only a maverick would do that. The founding fathers of the first Indian government picked just this eclectic figure to take up the task of writing the constitution of India. Ambedkar had been to an American university, so his ideas were much more modern than and only now you realize, you know, he was ahead of his time. And now people are appreciating what he was trying to say then. I'm quite convinced that given time and circumstances, nothing in the world will prevent this country from becoming one. Our constitution has a wonderful preamble. The way it starts, saying that we are one. All of us, this great diversity of this country. Now, this is something that is, that is so beautifully drafted. We, the people of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute India. And when he says humbly that this is our document we are presenting to ourselves, it's a great moment of pride for him and the entire nation. This 26th day of November, 1949, give to ourselves this constitution. To give voice to the voiceless is an aspect of genuine democracy. Indian constitution is designed in that fashion. Ambedkar was like a bitter dose that worked to cure years of bias and prejudice that had piled up in the Indian ecosystem. He made a frontal attack on the caste system in his first draft of laws. He was thinking in terms of an egalitarian society. Floundering in the darkness of Dalit discrimination, Ambedkar's belief in merit was like a torchlight for his followers. And Ambedkar is someone who also told Dalits that education is a weapon. With education, you can transform the society. Dalit boy! I think Ambedkar is a global thought leader uh, because I take inspiration from Malcolm X or Martin Luther King and they, they spoke against some kind of a segregation in the society. I would put Ambedkar even in a higher pedestal. Ambedkar's message, it's for billion, like 1.2 billion of Indians. Mook Nayak was not just the name of a journal that Ambedkar published in order to convey his ideas on empowerment. Mook Nayak, a man who strives and speaks for the silent, was the central theme of his life. Ambedkar drafted the Hindu Code Bill that tried to bring in equal rights for women in inheritance, maintenance, divorce and remarriage. Only somebody who had educated himself who had become a very contemporary, modern, world citizen. The classic quality of Ambedkar. From Hindu code bill to all-inclusiveness of women, which we are still struggling for, is, I think, ahead of time. If I am doing something, or I am so, this is Dain and Dr. B.R. Ambedkar, Baba Sahib Ji. Ki. Very few people know that it was Ambedkar who set out key labor laws detailing rights of employees and critical issues like eight hour work shift, medical leave, minimum wages, and equal pay for equal work. He looked into the future to create what is essentially an egalitarian constitution. If you look at our constitution and compare it with a lot of constitutions of that period, you'll find how remarkable it is. 
in a time when it's difficult to get acknowledgement and endorsement from young millennial guinea is clear about who her hero is <laughs> Many young artists across India are investing their creative energies in spreading the seeds sown by Dr. Ambedkar. Artists like Mari Selvaraj, Ravi Kumar Anand, Meena Kandasamy, Sukhir Tarani, and Palani Muthu Sivakami from Tamil Nadu, Aravind Malagatti, Siddhalingaya, Chandru Shekhar Bhandari, Koti Ganahalli Ramaya from Karnataka, Aruna Gokulamanda, Gogu Shamala. Jupaka Shubhadra from Telangana, Dr. C. S. Chandrika, Vijala Chirappad from Kerala have been taking the thoughts of Dr. Ambedkar to farthest corners of India. In a time when it's difficult to get endorsement from young millennials, Dr. Ambedkar is a figure that is invoking renewed admiration and adulation. During his lifetime and even many years after India's independence, the contributions of Dr. Ambedkar did not get the spotlight they deserved now in recent years government of india under prime minister narendra modi has paid unique homage to dr b r ambedkar baba sahab ka rashtra nirman mein jo yogdan hai us wajah se hum sabhi baba sahab ke rani hai hamari sarkar ka ye prayas hai कि ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों तक उनके विचार पहुंचे विशेषकर युवा पीढ़ी उनके बारे में जाने उनका अध्ययन करे और इसलिए इस सरकार में बाबा साहब के जीवन से जुड़े महत्वपूर्ण स्थलों को तीर्थ के रूप में विकसित किया जा रहा है जय भीम जय भीम क्रिएटिंग फाइव मेमोरियल्स और पंच तीर्थ इन मेमोरी ऑफ इस ट्रमेंडस कंट्रीब्यूशन द प्रेजेंट गवर्नमेंट हैज पुट अ स्पॉटलाइट ऑन डॉक्टर अंबेडकर लाइफ एंड हिज आइडियाज भीम जन्मभूमि मेमोरियल इन मध्य प्रदेश पेज रिस्पेक्ट टू द प्लेस वे ही वॉज बोर्न अंबेडकर शिक्षा भूमि मेमोरियल इन लंडन salutes the places where he as a student honed his ideas of an equitable polity deeksha bhumi memorial in nagpur pays respect to the place where he launched social reforms mahapari nirvana memorial in delhi where dr ambedkar died and chaitya bhumi memorial in mumbai where he was cremated have become venerated spots to revisit dr ambedkar's enlightened writing an exemplary life sani dhani dhama dhama gama dhani sa sani sani dhani dhama